Golf mates, welcome down to series two, episode eight of the Hidden Gems. I am on a ferry. I am just leaving Bar Island. Let me tell you now, Bar Island is in the Out of Hebrides. We're on our way to South Uist, but that is not our final destination. So golf mates, this is a special one. So I'm gonna tell you now, relax, sit down, and remember, you're gonna see what I'm gonna see. Golf mate, so I've brought you down to the Isle of Harris, and this is a banger of an hidden gem. This place has got views to die for. Plan, play a few holes, chat to a few locals, find out a bit of history about this island. But I believe the captain of the club is about, and I'm going to grab hold of him to find out what hole shall we play. I, I would have to see him in the. You'd have to play them all, all the holes. But if you go, if I'm going to pick any, I'll go for one. Two is a must, it's like a mini pebble beach, so number two is a definite, and number five I would go for as well. Right, so Ken's recommended I play the first, which I'm here anyway, in stitch you, the second and the fifth. We'll play more than that, we'll play more than that. I just love the ferry coming here, these two ferries and the rides, I can't express, it's an adventure to come here and it's part of the overall package, I think. I think it is different, do you know what I mean? Just different, but on a plan. I want to shoot level par for these three holes. Right, golf mates, four iron in hand, it's 269 yards into a little breeze, not a big one. Straightforward, but obviously you can't overpower the green because of the sea. But what I have been told, a little feature, is the greens are really quirky, they're in like little balls. So if you hit them left and right, sometimes you can get friendly kicks. And we all need a bit of a friendly kick. So four iron, it's quite wide open, I think. And then the second shot is all going to be about feel because of no cheetah meters, garments, range finders or anything. Right, four iron in hand. The wind's picked up. And I've absolutely nailed that. Look at that goal. Just right hand side, left hand side of the fairway coming down. That is beautiful. Tell you what, it's going to be one of them days, isn't it? Isla Harris, I bet you didn't think I'll ever get to the Out of Embrides, did you? Golf mates, this is why we brought you here. Look at that. Class, isn't it? And I tell you what, at four iron, middle of summer, well, we're in August now, would you believe? That would have trotted down. Now I've got pitching wedge, wind in. I'm guessing it's only about 50 yards, is it? I think I can fly it all the way, and it's like that behind the green. Or is it a little runner? I'm going to go for pitching it, but I tell you what, it's great, these hidden gems are just the best, they are, it's just, you have to come and play a lot of these, or have you watched any of these hidden gems, does it make you want to go and play them? Well, that's perfect, I could be on a bird here, right watch this jizz back, get in, get in, you beauty, boom shakalak, this is why I love coming to these places, Going to golf courses I've never been to before gives me energy and juices and I just love it. Golf mates, how good is that? Honestly, just call me Harrison from the Isle of Harris clan. I got it here and it spun back perfectly. Now, we're going to have it out. We're going to have it out. I'll tell you what, this is great. This is great. Right. Come on, for a birdie start. What a four iron, what a little wedge. Come on, you know. 
two ferries to get here. Boom! Yes! And to be fair, I'm going to be honest, when you come to these hidden gems, and they're just beauty everywhere, deep, deep down, let's be straight, deep down, doesn't matter if you play good or bad. Right, golf mates, one under. This is what we're saying though, the drive. You, you get it right, it's going to run down because all the elevation. Right, we're on the second hole now. I tell you what, I asked Kenny, I said, Kenny, any stories, anyone famous played here? The most famous one we have is uh, Nick Faldo. I mean, he tells the story himself when he's commentating on the Open where he, he's driving along, preparing for one of the Opens. I don't know which one it was, but himself and his caddy were up in the islands. They saw and they saw a flag and they went over a fence. And back then we didn't have a clubhouse. We only had a wee shack of some kind. Went in, played, played the course, came back, put a fiver in, signed the fiver. So we put the fiver inside a glass case and we play for it every year, the Faldo fiver. It's one of our, one of our top competitions. It's one of the of major the competitions, the Faldo fiver. So the Nick Faldo come here, legged it over the fence, played, yeah. paid his money, signed his card, put the envelope yeah. in. And that's back in the day when there were sheep there. So. How cool is that? <laughs> uh, that's unbelievable. Right, so Nick Feldor said this is like a miniature Pebble Beach. I can get it now. This is a par four, it's 300 yards. Why do I think I can get it there? I don't know, but I'm going to have a, not a go. I'm going to try and aim, um, well, that road is there. So it means I'm going to try and hit a straight one. I'm one under. Worst case scenario, see, it's easy going to carry all this rubbish. And you know me, I can't go left. It's, uh, and the wind's left to right a bit and behind. Yep, yeah, I know we do that, did that, caddying. So we're going to have a go. So Nick Feldo, eh? And he jumped over the fence. Nick Feldo and his caddy jumped over the fence and paid. Honesty box. Love that. I know the pay play for him. The Feldo fiver. Love it. Right, come on, we're feeling good. We're on the outer Hebrides with Lee. Can I put a good swing on? And I've nailed it. And if the wind does its job, that could be on the green. I'll just wait for the cameraman. Is it in the rough or on the green? It's in the rough. In the rough on the hill yeah, or in the, the sea? On the left of the hill. Okay. You ready? I've absolutely mullered that. But, you ready? Look at the wind. It's going that way. It didn't do anything, did it? But what a strike that was. Are you happy with that, Lee? Yeah. Do you like that? Right, golf mates. Didn't carry it. But it's YouTube. And I had to have a go, but I've got a half decent line, I think. Just going to get down here. And we're having a go. We certainly are. Oh, oh where's the green, Lee? Got it. Got it? Yep. Uh, 60. You had to have a go. You would have done the same, wouldn't you? I'm talking to the golf mates, Lee, but it's because you're a better golfer than me, but you can answer. Right. Oh, well, I have a go, didn't I? Birdied the first. Right, I know there's a bunker there, so I need to go left. It's one of them floating lies. We're out. Back on the green for free. Now, that is, when you come to these places and short par fours, is risk and reward. Is it five iron pitch on? Or go for it? You go for it every time, don't you, golf mates? Right, golf mates, I've got a bit of a devilish putty. I told you, when it looked quirky, these greens, there's nothing flat. That's the bunker I was saying, what I've all just seen. If I were playing again, I would not go dead aim. I would go up here and let it run down. But it don't matter. Hey, interesting fact, this course got abandoned, but the local community bought it back off a church, I think. I'll tell you, I'll let Ken tell you. It was originally back in the 30s, there was a course here, and it was like, I think it was Lord Leverhulme or somebody that set up a course. But then it was after the war, kind of it was derelict for years and years. In the 80s, this was like a place was covered in sheep. Right, as and many places we've seen in the islands of Hebrides, isn't there? They like the sheep, don't they? Absolutely. So what we did was, back then, the committee at the time bought this land made a deal, there's a deal kind of brokered between three groups and they managed to get this, bought this land and then did the course. Shot. These like hidden gems, what I'm showing you golf mates, these golf courses are not massive golf courses. These are hard to the community golf course. And this is a proper Scottish, even though it's in the Hebrides, community golf course. Everyone chips in, don't they? Absolutely. Apart from 
James, who's the greenkeeper, does everything. The rest of us are all volunteers. We're just golfers who love, who love the place, and we just want to do what we can to just to maintain it and keep it going. It's just that's the only way it can work here. You'd never, you'd never make it kind of a kind of commercially viable kind of thing. So we need all the volunteers and that. So it's a proper community club. This they've got it back, got it up to standard, and it's, a, it's just a great course. Like Nick Feldor said, brilliant course. But anyway, I've got this for a four and it's not easy. But what I will say, there's 120 members here from a population of an island of 2,000. Right, for par. What has it got there? Oh, oh, go on then, go on then. <sighs> eh? Thought the old Jimmy Cricket there, I got somehow I got a four. But talking about membership. They have worldwide members here because people hear about it for different reasons. But we also have this scheme where we do our life membership and we have probably about, I think, I think at the moment we're, we're pushing up to 900 life members. Is that right? Yeah, we come from all over the world, we have life members. You can, you can join as a life member if you live away from the Outer Hebrides. So the, you have like a weekend and they just come? They come and they come for the week and then we have competitions at the end of the week and the life members are tournament they pay for that and then they also join in our open so we combine the two and the open we play for not the Augusta green jacket we play for the Harris tweed jacket of course yeah I've already mentioned that in the video that Harris tweed here it is it's only made here and that's it isn't it it's made in 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 the Lewis and Lewis and Harris it's made and it can even be made in people's homes and brought to the factory is that right it's got to be made in the homes I think that's the key to it that it's made in the homes and brought so, to the factory so our, we have our own tweed the, ha the Harris Golf Club have our own tweed which make we make into jackets for the winners of our open so it's so it's similar I think if you come in from America the tweedy jacket the best way to describe it is Harbour Town you have a nice jacket at Harbour Town but, but originates from here anytime you hear tweed Harris Harris tweed that's the one so there's members from America Belgium, Canada, France, UK, everywhere. Golf mates, little fact for you. On the island there is a distillery. Yes, it's making whiskey, but more importantly, it's got a new adventure. It's making Isle of Harris gin. Made from sugar kelp from the sea, what the local divers get and take it to the distillery. So golf mates, I've brought you to this hole. You've seen the tee shot. I've only showed you because of all that behind me. Beautiful, but also this green. Now it runs onto the road, but also it's just, it's just like in a, a saucepan. Right, what have I got? Wedge. I'm just going to a nice little wedge. Hopefully that's enough. No, I'm not lying. I think I can go left or right and it'd be okay. Because I'm swinging well, straight I do. Is that big or beautiful? I think that's really good. I wonder what that's done. Oh, I've got the clap, he's giving the thumbs up. I actually show you that Oh, I don't know what it is. It's just, a, it's just brilliant, isn't it? This is what it's about, these hidden gems. Finding these places and showing you. So we're going to keep this live. I've got Ken here with me. He's helped us out already. Ken, birdied the first. Went for the green on the second. Oh yeah, I went in that little bit of crevice just before the green. Got a five. I can't miss that, can I? In your putt. Not with this new grip. It was more the four iron. It was more the four iron were great. I'm, I'm loving it here, loving it. Is the sea always turquoise? Yeah. When the sun's out. Beautiful, beautiful it is. I mean, you've got beaches here that are classed as kind of top ten in Europe, top ten in the world winners. Is there? Yeah, Lusk So Harris has got the top, where's that then? I'll have Luskentire to go. Luskentire Beach. Luskentire Beach. Luskentire. Luskentire. Yeah. See, I've called myself now because I birdied the first. Liam McHarris. <laughs> from the Harris clan. <laughs> it's, it'll bite you yet. <laughs> will it? <laughs> Take your hands now. Yeah, right? well, I'll, I'll, yeah. How are you? So I believe you just won some, aren't you? Yeah. Cow. What have you won? Life, just like that. How old are you? So you're gonna get use of it, innit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what an age you want! You don't want a 13, you'll win that. <laughs> right, golf mates, it's a nine-hole golf course. It's 25 pounds, but let me tell you now: do not let nine holes put you off. Some of the best courses in the world used to be nine holes. Honestly, this place is a proper hidden gem. Right, golf mates, last hole. 
Kenny, you brought me to a new tee, so it's actually 502 yards from here. You said normally it's an iron and play it as a free shot, but you're saying have a go. Oh, well, you're on YouTube, so you've got to hit a driver. Right. Is that bunker a good line on the right? Bunker's a great line. Wind off the right here, bunker there, and a dog legs to the left. And you think, just give it a whack? Give it a whack. Don't go right and don't go left. <laughs> you make a great caddy. Right. Nothing gets past you, does it? <laughs> huh? Oh, that is... Talk to me, Kenny. On the bunker. Oh, absolutely. You might be on in two in that one. Kenny, I don't know what it is. This course is bringing the best out of me. Well, it looks good anyway. You're... I'm having a great day. People like him is why I could come to these places. You meet people, just genuine people like this lad. He's come out, he's let us ask him questions, and he's walking the course with us. Class act. So this was your ninth? Ninth hole, yeah. And you're playing this way? Playing up the way. Right, so the tee box with the, the green. Box ah, there. the green with her then, wasn't What's it? the green? And I think this is a better hole this way, because you've got all that, hole. you know, you're looking at all the mountains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all the bay. But all the sand used to come off the beach, and just this whole fairway for six months was just inch, inches deep in is sand. Is that just with, like, what, just with winds? Wind, I, I mean. Well, I'll put it in a position here. Is it reachable from here? It's is it? it, it we have, shall we have a go or not? Oh, you've got to give it a go. But I've only got irons. I've got a rescue, but I don't really hit that a lot. How far does your rescue go? I don't know. About 220, <laughs> I reckon. I you're caddy. Yeah, with somebody else's clubs. <laughs> I don't know what I'll do with mine. <laughs> right, Kenny. I don't fancy it in rescue. I think four iron. Four iron with this wind. And I think it could run and run. If you don't go on the grid, go. Get near. It'll not be far away. But I'll be happy with that. Are you? Yeah, there's not much danger anywhere. But you're the caddy, what am I hitting? Four iron. Good, because I've got it here. <laughs> Would you hit four? No, I'd hit probably three wood. <laughs> right, let's see if I can... Uh... Oh, yes. I mean, I can't hit any better, oh, can I really? beauty. Is that the line? That uh... is the line. Absolutely on the line. Now, while we're waiting now for the man from Del Monte up there, Oh. It's thumbs up. Does that mean it's close or on? It could, it's close to the green. Do you oh. know what? Happy with that, surely. Oh! It's, I was saying it before, when you're happy, it's easy to play a good ah. golf, isn't it? Coming here with no, nothing but looking at all this beauty, it's easy to be happy. Yeah. I mean, Harris has got very popular tourists now, very popular, so. Do you get a lot of people coming? Playing? Yeah. Tourists playing? Yeah, we've got busier in the last couple of years, so. Which is good, isn't it? Yeah, we used to have, until this year, we used to have just our honesty box. Yeah, we did that gate, yesterday. Just at the gate as you come in, it's just an honesty box. But now it's... it's you can book online? It's all online, we Brilliant. do now, yeah. All Brilliant. online, absolutely. Right, come on, Caddy. I think I've hit two proper good shots. Yeah. What are you feeling? What are you, what, tell me what's where, and oh, I'm going well, this, with you. This is an OMP shot, chip and run. Eight this iron. Eight iron. Right, you, okay. It's close enough to putt if you are... Do you want me to put it? Oh, it's up to yourself. No, you're the caddy. I'm oh, going. Caddy. You've told me it four iron driver, and I oh, look where right. I am. I'll go for the eight iron then. Eight iron, right? Just no scoopy whoopies. Oh no, we don't want that, do we? So, is it left to right or straight? What do you want? Well, I'm not saying I can. Pull it off. Straight. Right. It's pretty straight. It runs away at the end, but it. That could be all right. That could be very good. See, I visualised it left to right, and it was straight as anything. Yeah, straight shot. But that's pin high. That's, that's pin not. High. I'll tell you what. Good for pace. Is there another birdie on hand? Right. <laughs> I don't want. I'm not blowing my trumpet, but I thought. I think there's two shots that deserve a birdie at least, don't there? Ah, oh, two good shots. Yeah. There. Absolutely. That was a good shot. Yeah. But well, see, yeah, that's it. right for distance, isn't it? Right, Kenny. I love it. Oh, <laughs> I'll take that. Come on, what are you thinking? So, downhill. Right to left? Right to left. I think Not we've much. got this. I think we've got it, Kenny. He has got it. Kenny, oh, what well a way done. to end. Golf mates, this has been a fantastic hidden gem. One of my favourites is up there. Kenny, are the golf mates welcome at this golf club, Alavaris? Absolutely. And if you didn't know, Kenny's a golf mate. 
He's an amputee golfer, but you ready for this? Still plays off 11, gets it wrong, better than Mr. Barlow. Golf mates, bottom of my heart, thank you very much for the hospitality of this club, this island and the people. Get here, go on the journey, it's a great adventure. Golf mates, see you soon, bye from me. Bye. <laughs>